If you need to remove an echo from your audio clip in Audacity, I've got you covered. I'm going to show you everything you need to know. So let's climb straight in. So let's reduce the echo over here. You can see I have um, an audio track in here and uh, this is just an, uh, an example. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play it. This is a sample. I this hope you enjoyed this video. Sample. Peace out, my people. All right, so you can hear it got a fair amount of echo in it. So what we're going to do is you can do one of two things. Let's select this eye over here. You can click down on your area where you are going to grab a sound or a noise profile from. So let's click down on this section over here. All right, this is what we're going to use to create a profile. So once you've done this, you're going to go up to effect. You're going to come down to noise removal and repair and look for noise reduction. Now, this is the point where you need to um, play around with your results. First thing is let's click on get noise profile. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to click up over here on the name or alternatively in this blue area here, which means whatever changes you make now will be applied to this entire track. Let's go back to effect. Let's go to noise removal and repair, noise reduction. And here, now that we've got our profile, we can go ahead and start playing around with the noise reduction and the sensitivity. OK, those are the only two things that I really would play around with, but more so the noise reduction. So what you need to do is it's currently set to a default on 12. What you want to do is click on preview. This is a sample. I this hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out, my people. Right, and then play with the noise reduction. So let's just move it up a bit. And let's click on preview. This is a sample. I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out, my people. And what you'll need to do is go ahead and play with the noise reduction and the sensitivity until you are happy with what you are hearing. And thereafter, you're going to click on OK. And you'll see that this has now been changed. You can see the sound waves are slightly smaller and it will be changed according to what your settings were. You can go ahead now and save this in Audacity.